Facts about Labor Day Labor Day became a national holiday during Grover Cleveland's presidency. The Haymarket Riot of 1886 was considered one of the most violent protests held by workers. A number of Chicago policemen and workers were killed. On May 11, 1894, most of the Pullman Palace Car Company's employees went on strike to protest salary cuts and termination of union representatives. By June 26, Eugene V. Debs led the American Railroad Union. They boycotted the Pullman Railway cars, which caused a nationwide railroad traffic jam. Dozens of workers were killed in the riot after the federal government sent troops to Chicago. The incident caused massive unrest when the deaths of workers were made public. Grover Cleveland was the president who signed the act establishing the federal holiday in 1894. By the end of 1894, 23 states passed the Labor Day holiday law. In 1909, the American Federation of Labor Convention made a resolution adopting Labor Sunday prior to Labor Day to be celebrated for the labor movement's educational accomplishments. In order to further pacify workers, Congress passed an act making Labor Day a legal holiday in the District of Columbia. Both Peter J. McGuire, co-founder of the American Federation of Labor and Matthew McGuire, secretary of the Central Labor Union, were debatably credited for proposing the holiday. There is disagreement about who actually proposed Labor Day as a holiday. Some say it was Peter J. McGuire, who was the co-founder of the American Federation of Labor. Others believe that it was Matthew McGuire, a machinist. The Adamson Act was passed on September 3, 1916 to establish an eight-hour workday. Creators decided to pick the first week of September to honor Labor Day because it is between the 4th of July and Thanksgiving. Labor Day is considered the unofficial end of summer. Don't worry though. The official end of summer is September 21st so you still have time to catch some waves and rays. Labor Day is actually said to be the third most popular day for grilling in the US. The can't wear white after Labor Day rule originated in this era and only applied to specific classes slash statuses of people. Wearing white was a sign of status, and one could only wear white after Labor Day if you could afford to go on winter holidays. Labor Day is considered the end of hot dog season. According to the National Hot Dog and Sausage Council, yes, that's a real thing. From Memorial Day to Labor Day, Americans typically consume 7 billion hot dogs. That's 818 hot dogs consumed every second during that time. By the way, this year's winner of the infamous Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest at Coney Island was Joey Chestnut. He ate 70 hot dogs in 10 minutes. Thank you for watching. Be a part of the Easy Learning family and hit the subscribe button now.